Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are filming a new style of video. So here at Weasel Works, we're trying to highlight cool cars in the UK automotive scene and as you can see, we've got a pretty nice one right here. To the left of me, Mr. Joey Hazel, which is the fountain of knowledge, E36, <laughs> Lord. Famous Joey. Famous Joey. Yeah, if you remember, Famous we had Joey. his convertible. You had his convertible here. Collected. Yeah. yeah, that's very nice. Oh, that's he's got another one, it matches. So he's brought it down for us to have a look at. It's got just as many ridiculous pieces on it. It's just as nice, possibly nicer to be fair. Yeah. It's not convertible. Yeah, it's um, featured, it briefly featured in the Bista video that we just did and we kind of yeah. gave it a gloss over, but we thought it'd be cool to get yeah, Joey down and do down. a proper thing, man. So, should I let you take the reins? Do you want us introduce us to what your... What is it? Yeah, what is it? Seriously, what's her name? Uh, Esmeralda. This one hasn't actually got a name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one actually hasn't. But um, yeah, it's my E46. I've had this one since 2016. Um, it started off as an Alpine white three-door coupe. Um, low mileage, literally sat in someone's yard for about six years before I owned it. And then, yeah, it is what it is today. It wasn't supposed to go this far, but it kind of <laughs> did. And but yeah, here we are. <laughs> it was supposed to be my run around. And then obviously again, when I got a new job, I got a different car, so I didn't have to use it every day. So yeah, stuff went out of hand. It wasn't supposed it's to be. It's got bonkers now. It wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> didn't know far, how far you come, right? No, it was supposed to be get a daily for the daily. Yeah, and now I need a daily for the daily. E36, they're just so easy to work on yeah. and they're just so they easy are. to make look sensible nowadays. That's the thing with any project car, isn't it, man? There's never a final stage. There's right? never, there's there's never, never a final there? boss. There's always you, that one person before it, and you always get defeated, and there's another final boss. There's yeah. another final boss. Well, you were yeah. telling me earlier how you could see yourself buying another 36. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might as well get a tour in now because I said I've got oh, everything else. Right. So I need, I need luggage right, space. So That's the blue. ideal. <laughs> it's blue. Which yeah. matches your other one. It's, it's wrapped blue because, as I said, it was shade every shade of white you can imagine. It started off like cream, beige, nice. brown, lacquer peel. <laughs> nice. so, yeah, literally. The thing what are these? Is, these are hard motorsport um, arches. Yeah, they cool. are from the US, so they got them shipped over. And I started rolling the rear arches and it didn't roll very well. The actual arch fell half out, so I was like, I want to cut that off. And I was just like, mm, I want to change the color of them. So I literally had them fitted, mm -hmm. riveted on, and then yeah, wrapped in blue so they match. What bumpers you got on this? Uh, the whole car is kitted AC Schnitzer. So it's a Schnitzer front bumper, uh, Schnitzer mirrors, Schnitzer side skirts, Schnitzer rear bumper, roof spoiler, three piece spoiler, steering wheel, yeah. door it's inserts. Going. Cause this is all stuff that no one cared about like yeah five back years in the ago day, it's snitch the stuff people said bumpers were going for 100 pound a pop like mm -hmm. now you're probably not looking for change for like five six hundred pound for a bumper you can't even get m sport one yeah m sport nah, bumpers now it's are still silly money i said um size skirts if you can find them they're probably about six seven hundred pounds they are not easy to yeah. find them plus like what we bought your green 36 yeah for. pretty much <laughs> yeah, that's the saying they're now price of cars like body kit alone probably easily a 1500 pound if i was to sell it but yeah i wouldn't be selling it anytime soon man insane i mean the standout feature for me and probably for the car now is the, yeah, the carbon, new, bonnet, isn't it, carbon man? bonnet which is just incredible like it was painted estoril it blue and i wasn't sure if it was going to be good under the paint so yeah. i spoke to my paint guys the surrey paint and body done me a massive favor um they literally took the paint all the way off and it underneath I was like that looks good and he's like re-lacquered it and it looks brand new. Don't, don't lift it into the camera. <laughs> Bang. It doesn't weigh anything does it? No, it's nah. literally super duper. Like, Holy smokes silly, man. Silly, like. I haven't done the underside yet because I'm probably nice. just going to rattle can it black eventually because it doesn't need to be body coloured. Yeah. The yeah. car is actually white as you can see. It's still officially white. <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, I'll do the underside of it, probably rattle can black eventually, but I'm in no rush because I don't often see the underside of the bonnet. Yeah. Touch wood, it doesn't break down. Uh, <laughs> just, even just looking at it, I've looked at your car quite a lot recently and I've just noticed sick. the OMP. Yeah, man. Yeah, Struck OMP tower tower support, beefy, man. So sick. Well. Like every time you look at this car, I feel like there's just something uh -huh. new mm -hmm. every uh -huh. time. Yeah. So yeah, it's got M, um, S52 rocker cover. 
So that normally comes on the American M3s. So basically, it says M Power instead of BMW on there. Yeah. So it looks a bit more fast, but it's not. It's still slow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, M50 inlet, official one done by Alpina 527 back in the day. So it's legit. It's got everything machined in the right places, mm -hmm. and all the M52 stuff bolts straight to it instead of having to use all these bodge cable ties and like different mm. Jubilee clips and everything. This literally. is what I was saying about the fountain of knowledge that you have because yeah. it's just. You know E36 like inside out, don't you, it's man? Like an encyclopedia. Yeah. Yeah. I've literally been encyclopedia. The amount of times I message Joey like, how do I do this or what does this mean? Or yeah. <laughs> you say you're gonna, you're gonna change this, aren't you? You're gonna put an M3 lump yeah, in this. Yeah, I've got a S50 B32 being built at the moment that's gonna go in here. Um, I've got a supercharger kit as well, which we'll be putting to it. So once that's done a couple of road miles and I sort of run it in a bit, I'll put the supercharger on it finally, which I've had for too many years <laughs> but yeah that's gonna go and then hopefully produce about 500 brake Jeez. what dreams are made of mate exactly <laughs> it looks fast hopefully it'll be fast yeah because then it'll match what it looks like bbs e88s uh wrapped in michelin pilots or fours because they're just such a good road tire and i said as much as i should take it on track i haven't yet because i'm just an idiot and I don't want to ruin it yet i'll let it yeah. do some mileage <laughs> yeah. first it looks so good, man. Like the contrast of like the gold against the blue is just yeah, ten ten. So nice, out. proper. The only thing I want to do is get gold center caps, but to find the gold center caps for EA8s is near impossible. And when mm. they're new, they're like three hundred pounds, and I'm not paying three hundred pounds <laughs> for four pieces of plastic. Yeah, you bought a whole set of wheels for three hundred. Yeah, man. I've, I've bought wheels cheaper in the past. I mean, the center caps are cool though. They're almost like embossed, aren't they? They're like yeah, that's three D logo. Yeah, which is sick. Yeah, but this has got a badge to link, which is pretty interesting, man. Yeah, it's just one of these little features that said you can buy the stuff new still, so it's quite nice to be able to get it, and it just looks different. Doesn't stand, doesn't sort of be in your face like everyone else's. It's mm -hmm. not an M3. It's not a sort of M Sport, so I don't want to have the M or the M3. So just blank it's easy a lot of people the other way aren't they really they're like i need to put m badge yeah, up. strips I, yeah. yeah even when i put the m3 <laughs> engine in it i won't put an m3 badge on it because it's Sick. not an official m3, m3. if someone reg checks it, it will still come back to the 328 even though insurance know and dvla will know it just will annoy me that it's not an official <laughs> m3 it's a 520d yeah <laughs> <laughs> whilst we're here as well what brakes up you running mag sir Pretty beefy they are. Uh, case for front and rear, so 356 fronts, 330 rears, uh, eight pot fronts, four pot rears. Eight Bloody spot hell. fronts. Eight pots. Yeah. Eight. eight pots. It was eight. <laughs> I got one. So yeah, it's been stopped like stop his <laughs> yeah. 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 man. Said it, it's built to be fast, <laughs> but it's not yet fast. It even yeah. says motorsport on the side, man. Jesus. Yeah, this is this is what it's built for. It's built for motorsport, but I haven't got that far yet. So <laughs> I'm just BMW at the moment. But even like we've got this fine, it's like we haven't even mentioned the alley doors, like oh, yeah, snap. you know, Everything light fits. weight. Mm -hmm. Cool, what's cracking on the rear then? Uh, again, AC Schnitzer rear bumper, uh, three piece spoiler, which is quite cool because I said it's one of the ones you don't see often. Uh, roof spoiler made by AC Schnitzer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just gonna be a brand for Schnitzer. Yeah, you haven't got, you haven't got Schnitzer exhaust though. What's this, Jimmy? Ah, uh, this is this nice. is a Miltec. Yeah, yeah nice. this is a Miltec, but really. it's running full Miltec M3 system. So Miltec back box, Miltec decats. Um, obviously M3 manifolds on there, but on the M52, so it gives it a bit more power. Mm -hmm. uh, in pro tail lights, just because I like the smoke look, because it yeah, suits no, the blue color. Hard, I didn't want to do the red and clear. Um, parking sensors are retrofitted because I didn't have them and I've used to backing into things so I thought <laughs> why, not, why not help myself. The, the little flick on the bottom man. So good isn't it? It's not as in your face as some of the other kits but it's still clean as hell. It sorts out because they're quite high on the rear aren't they? Yeah, this is they've got a lot of anyway rate. because it's on 18s. A lot of people say like, oh, are we going to lower the back of it? It's a drag star. I was like, but it's because it's on 18s yeah. and I run a meaty tyre. So an 18 with a 265 is a big wheel. Mm. compared to a 17 yeah. with a 21540 if you notice the actual height difference of the wheel and tire big it's wheel inches yeah like you don't realize it like that's quite a big gap in terms of e36 world yeah but yeah it drives really well so i'm not really too fast what it looks like can you just give us the ultimate flex as well i'm going to show you the ultimate flex <laughs> oh, Lord, eh? 
<laughs> the ultimate yeah. flex, man. Now, that's useful when it's cold in the winter time. When I used to daily it, it's perfect because you start in your bedroom before you go for work, go and have a shower, get ready, get dressed, come out in the morning. It's already defrosted. How Ten penguins it, how are How does it fit in that? <laughs> it's, it's part of the alarm. It's like Cliff the alarm. You can do Intelli start and you can also do smart windows. So you can do the windows up and down on some of them. Yeah, but so I didn't bother doing that because yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't really use it too often. But the sides, yeah. nah, should we, should the, we, the inside's we, probably yeah, the yeah, spot. I don't know. Is it nicer? Spoiler, yeah, I mean, it keeps it's getting crazy. better, man. It's uh, Everything. pretty much goodies as much as you can get. I just loved AC Schnitzer stuff. It was such a cool era for AC Schnitzer and it just suited the car so well. A lot of carbon. I like, I like carbon. Carbon on the seat because it looks cool. We've got carbon on the door card here, carbon around the steering wheel, carbon in the middle. The extended lever on, on, on the there. door card as well. Make carbon here. Yeah. Carbon. Yeah, these um, door cards are extended lever, so it's a package BMW used to do to have like additional mm. lever. The actual door card itself is fully stitched along here. Yeah, that's cool. Along here. And it's actual leather instead of yeah. having half final, half sort of leather or potentially like a padded elbow. So these are like full extended. What seats are so, you rocking in there? Uh, these are Recaro A8s. They were sort of 90s, or early 80s, 90s seats. Um, they're like a wing back, but they're like a bucket seat, but they also recline. So you get the nice, if you need to get into the back of the car, you can still get into the back of the oh, car. Look at the so back nice. of that. I oh, know, it's crazy, crazy, isn't it? Even that rear ashtray is carbon fiber. Yeah, I got a shot of that. <laughs> <laughs> the shift knob is actually a BTEC or BTCC racing um, shifter. Oh, like the gear knob. Yeah, yeah that's the one. Sick. What's it from? It's from BM, but yeah. from, yeah, I literally wow. bought it. You can still buy it new. No way. So, Whoa. yeah, I bought it because I was like, that looks cool. And yeah, it's it just, does. it's different. But it suited the interior quite well. Um, I've got the Alpina gauge clusters that's rad shows you i think that's one of my favorite things yeah, it's just one of these little features that when it's just nice to know what's going on with the car like mm. it shows you oil temperature oil pressure and diff temperature annoyingly this one came out of an auto so it shows you what gear you're in but because obviously it's a manual i'm gonna i might try and retrofit something to make it work mm. so it'll show you pain. yeah but it's worth it it'll yeah, be cool no, just to show you what gear you're in Oh, but on the, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you want to do it like that? <laughs> I thought you were going to convert it. No, no, no. Yeah, like a sequential in a way, oh, showing yeah. you the number. I'll show you what gear it's in, like Yo, one, two, three, yeah, four. That'd be lit. But yeah, that'd be lit. on the manual ones, that's actually a battery voltage gauge. It shows you what your battery voltage is doing. Yeah. yeah. That's not that important, is it? There's a green machine. Yo! Whoop. Get involved, mate. Looks good. Looks <laughs> good. Looks good. Looks good. I'm doing it backwards. I mean, we haven't mentioned the piece de resistance, the uh, oh, ring, 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 the telephone. blower. Oh, ding, ding. Yeah. yeah, it's got an OEM telephone, like it came in some of your 36s. I have unplugged it recently because I was doing some work in there, but it did work. You're doing laps ring, around the Nürburgring taking business Fred, calls, yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can just talk on the phone. Yeah, that is actually as soon as you Cozy. Chapped up. And you say you want to try retrofit that to be. Yeah, I said it, I usable. have had it working previously. And I had a. Thing, ah! Yeah, BT Cellnet. Because the, the weirdly, BT Cellnet or O2 are the ones that actually work in there. Mm. So you can get it in and work in and actually have, take and receive phone calls and stuff. Jesus. Now, what, out an M3? Uh, no, they they just were, was an option that not a lot of people picked. But you can, again, still buy them new. Yeah. So. I've never seen this round. Um, mirror? Yeah. Oh, it's a Z3M mirror. Is so, it? yeah, because yeah, this cool. car never had auto dimming mirrors, Whoa, instead of putting the E46 one, I, yeah. I put the Z3M one because I never had an auto dim mirror. But yeah, it's quite nice because you get a bit more view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's, it's quite similar to an M5 that. one, isn't it? An yeah. E39 one. I mean, we've set the bar high. So, yeah, for the next well, person that's coming, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. Is, I mean, it's going to have to be not a BMW because you can't. It'd be a struggle to trump this, really, wouldn't we? Yeah. I don't yeah, know how to do the next. We'll go do that one properly. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I mean, we should film a cinematic of this one and then one of the, uh, and then both of them together. Yeah. I think that would be mega. Definitely. Absolute yeah, man. hero, Thank man. You for having me. Idol. Oh, cheers, mate. Literally. <laughs> See you soon. Yeah, the Thanks fan of knowledge, man. <laughs> if you have a notable car, please bring it to us. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a notable car, leave us a note. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll try to film it. Bring it back. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have got cool motors, and you want to come down and talk some waffle? Yes, sir. Give us a uh, give, give us, us a, a shout. shout. But hey, we're going to get a flyby clip as you leave them. Yeah, man.
Thank you.